Hi, today I just want to quickly go into loading the PAC C3 demo um, express project onto the XPR. So first go into settings, local project pack, and wherever you unzip the file. Uh, mine was on my desktop in a folder named demo. So under the express project, then press OK. Then on the bottom left hand corner you should see the uh, project here and then um, for your machines that I've actually connected through so you should see this as long as you've set the IP address you do this on the touch screen panel itself in settings under network settings and this needs to be set to Similar to the PAC controller, it needs to be 192.168.10. Something other than 50 and something other than what you set your PC address. I'm using number 52. The subnet should be 255.255.0.0. So um, just be aware that it is different than all of our other controllers that have always used 255.255.255.0. The last two are zero for the pack controller. It makes it easier, more robust for uh, third-party device connections in industrial network settings. So in the uh, Interact Express Manager, um, click Refresh, and then you should see the remote machine. Go ahead and click Send, and this will give you the option to transfer it. Uh, the default is admin, capital A on there. There is no password on there. So then send uh, complete project and then click send. And go ahead. Yes to all. You should see a status bar on your express screen waiting it for it to load. I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording until that's done. So my transfer is now complete, so I'll go ahead and press close and push run on the HMI screen and it should start running. Alternatively, you can go into the local project and load that as well too. You can enter runtime from your PC. just need to connect and then you can push run and this should mimic what you'll see in your project a very simple um, here I can click a button it will then uh, send that to the pack controller it will then inside of ladder project turn on an output and then um, here's our cycles in terms of our motion moving back and forth, our position, and our program status. So first, obviously, the PLC needs to be running. So inside the pack controller, if you had stopped it, um, do a cold reset, and then push play. And you should have motion moving back and forth. I can see this in the uh, Run Motion X program. My I status is incrementing. I'll go back to the Interact Express Manager. You can see my cycles are updating. My position is uh, incrementing. And then if I send this button push, it turns on this light and how I'm doing that back in the PAM software. Inside this program, this button light is the name of the program, and all I'm doing is I'm taking off uh, XPR button and masking off bit zero as a pool, and when that turns on, I'm gonna turn on XPR light. Where is that being done? If you go down to the ethernet 
device, Modbus TCP IP driver is what's being used on the PAC. The PAC controller is actually the Modbus slave. The XPR is requesting that information, thus it is the master. So in the slave device IO mapping, you can see there's my button. I'm sending it across as a word, then I'm masking off that bit, and then the outputs from the pack, which are the inputs to the express panel. Here's the light. That's um, bit zero on the very first tag, and then the count X and the position and the I status. So back on the express panel, that's uh, that's it running. If you go ahead and click exit, if you want to enter the design and take a look at that, I need to disconnect. The cylinder is kind of noisy, so I'm going to go ahead and stop that from running. And then if you want to look at the panel, it's just one, one screen panel. You go into the tags and you can see here's your HMI indicator light. It's uh, dot zero. The switch is uh, 4001. On Modbus, drivers set up automatically on the addressing. So does not matter in the pack controller what these addresses are. You can completely ignore that. These are straight uh, incremental. So the very first word is always going to be for that button. Will be 4001. And so the inputs into the express which are the outputs on the pack are the second group and those start at 3000 so 3001 is always the very first and i'm masking off bit zero which is the the express light and then 3002 is the count, 3003 is the X position, and 3004 is the, um, is the motion program status variable that's just incrementing inside of that program. Um, under the Modbus TCP, I'm, I have 10 ho holding registers, which are inputs and then, uh, um, or outputs, and then uh, I guess it kind of depends on what, uh, are you talking about the pack or are you talking about the express HMI and then the input registers is 10. If you want to uh, change this and um, have even more, you can. You just need to log out and then you can update that. So then if you change that, come back into here. Then if you open this, you will now have 15 starting at zero going all the way to 14. So I think that's enough rambling for today. I appreciate your time and your patience. I hope the uh, sample programs work out and you can uh, use those to and modify them to quickly get you up and running. There's a lot of settings within the pack software that's really powerful. It's really nice, but there are a lot of settings in there and hopefully these sample programs will get you up and running very quickly. Thanks and